This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. In this podcast, I would like to explain why antibiotics resistance in bacteria increasing and what we can do. There are several reasons why antibiotic resistance in bacteria is increasing. First, increased uses of antibiotics, causing antibiotic resistance increasing. Improper prescription and uses of antibiotics. Third way is that poor hygiene and practices, these can lead to antibiotics. This can lead to increasing of antibiotics resistance. Now, what is the consequences of antibiotic resistance in bacteria? The first consequences of that is the prolongs infections. And secondly, it dramatically increases recovery time, hospital stays, and healthcare costs. Thirdly, often needs more expensive, less effective, and more toxic medication to cure the infection, and finally, causes high mortality rates. Now what we can do in order to decrease the antibiotic resistance in bacteria? There are so many things we can do, honestly. First, antibiotics can not cure or stop transmission or make an infected person feel better after viral infection such as cold. Secondly, antibiotics may cause, in this case, unnecessary harmful side effects after taking the antibiotics, of course. Then, when you are prescribed antibiotics, take it exactly as the doctor tells you. Complete the prescribed course even if you are feeling better. If a treatment stops too soon, some bacteria may survive and reinfect you. Talk with your doctor about antibiotics resistant. Don't skip doses. Don't save any antibiotics for the next time you get sick. Don't take antibiotics prescribed for someone else, because the antibiotic may not be appropriate for your illness. Taking the wrong medicine may delay correct treatment and allow bacteria to multiply. Don't demand antibiotics when a doctor says that they are not needed. There are some diseases are associated with antibiotics resistance. These are some of them, for instance, tuberculosis. We have some resistance with malaria as well. And we have methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pneumoniae. We have some infection that, that these bacteria becoming resistant, and gonorrhea, typhoid fever, vancomycin, glycopeptide intermediate, Staphylococcus aureus, and we have here vancomycin resistant enterococci as well. Finally, I would like to, to finish my podcasting by talking about the strategies how we can prevent antimicrobial resistance in healthcare settings. There are four types of strategies. First one, prevent infection. This is the best way. Second, diagnose and treat infection. Third, use antimicrobials wisely. And finally, prevent transmission of infection. These are the strategies how we can prevent antimicrobial resistance in healthcare settings. Thank you.